Welcome, my friends, to the first Dinner Bee devlog. So there are two things that I'm really passionate about. The first is I love building things. And the second is that I love showing people what I build. So I thought this devlog series would be a fantastic way for me to one, build a SaaS application, and then two, share it with a bunch of other people through a devlog series. And yeah, this is just gonna be everything that goes into building a SaaS application, the actual nitty gritty technical things, things like design, things like marketing. And ideally by the end of this process, I will have a finished SaaS application, potentially with some users, potentially generating some revenue. So I wanted to bring y'all in on this journey with me. And I'm gonna start by showing you exactly what this application is. So the name of the application is Dinner Bee. And it came from a recent change in my life where I recently moved in with my girlfriend. And every day around 2 to 3 p.m., we'd just be sitting and, and asking each other, hey, what are we going to have for dinner today? And it became kind of just a joke, a running joke. And I just knew that there was something that I could build that would make this process uh, a lot easier for us. And so Dinner Bee really is um, a way for couples and families to organize their meals throughout the week and ideally save them a lot of time and money and just thought about having to determine what they're going to eat. This is not the most revolutionary product, but it's my first SaaS application, so I wanted to do something that I could build for myself as well and hopefully help other people along the way. I also wanted to take a unique angle at it, so this is really specific for couples and families to use, and so I think I'll be able to use that tactic in my marketing as well. But that's enough rambling on the background of the project. Let's dive right into Figma so you can see the mocks for this project and see exactly what a user would see inside of the application. So honestly, I probably should have started this devlog series a bit earlier uh, when I first had these mocks, but I've had them finished for about a month or two, and now I'm about halfway done with the actual development. But for this devlog, I do want to start at the very beginning. So for me, that is starting with the mocks. And I have a video that kind of explains all the different pieces that go into building a SaaS. And building out the mocks and the UX UI design is one of those pieces of the process. I am not a designer by any means. I am a software engineer. I have experience on the other side where a designer will give me you know, mocks and, and I have to replicate that through code, but it's kind of interesting being on the other side of things. So I wanted to keep this as simple as possible. Uh, I just went with a four color scheme here, and this is uh, the above the fold for what the homepage will look like if you land on the Dinner Bee site. There will be some additional marketing uh, pieces on this landing page. I have not mocked those out yet. Uh, for me, building a landing page is not something that happens first. So I definitely wanted to get an idea of what the above the fold piece of the landing page would look like, but I will worry about the rest of it uh, when it is time to actually build out the landing page. So let's go over some of the features and what you could expect as a user of the Dinnerby platform. So if you bought Dinnerby and you signed up and you made an account, you would be able to get to this screen, this home screen. And we have a couple different options. We can add a recipe. Um, this is pretty standard, you know, in any kind of recipe application. We'll also be able to view all the recipes that we have, keep track of everything. Um, and then this is kind of the interesting part where we have calendars. We can set up calendars and schedules for maybe different types of meals. Maybe we have you know a calendar for dinner uh, or lunch or breakfast, like you can see on this next screen. So uh, if a user doesn't have any calendars, they'll be able to create one. And if they do have calendars, you can have up to three calendars. You'll be able to click into those. Now let's take a peek into if a user were to you know hit this add recipe button, they'll be directed over to this create recipe page and they'll be able to do all kinds of fun things like upload a photo of their uh, recipe, you know, give it names, number of servings, cook durations, ingredients, and the directions for that recipe. Once it's created, uh, they'll be able to explore all of their recipes, going to have a search functionality uh, where they'll be able to search by recipe name, and then they'll be able to see their recipes organized into cards and see how many total recipes they have. If a user is to click into a specific recipe, the image that they uploaded would be this nice banner background, the name of the recipe would appear above that. And then they can see the instructions and ingredients that go into preparing that recipe. So all of that's kind of basic stuff. You know, if you're gonna have any kind of recipe or dinner 
planner application, those things are a must. But I think this scheduling feature is something that will help uh, Dinner Bee stand out from, from other applications. And I'm not good at Figma, so I literally just took a screenshot of something that I thought looked good, and then I will kind of worry about it when I'm building my front end, because I don't know exactly how to do a calendar in Figma. But that's okay. So essentially this is really what I want though, is I want a full month view, or maybe a week view, and a user is able to click on a certain day, and when they do that, they'll get a modal, they'll be able to search for the recipe that they want, um, and then they'll be able to add that recipe to the specific day. Now, once they have done that, if they click on the recipe that has been added, they'll be able to see that, hey, this is the recipe uh, on the dinner calendar for 523, and they'll, they'll be able to view that specific recipe, and they can you know, be redirected back up here so they can see the instructions and ingredients that go into preparing that. One really important part of the application that is not currently present on the mocks is the couples aspect of this. So essentially, I don't want two people to have to purchase Dinner Bee in order for them to use it. So for example, if I were to buy Dinner Bee, I would want to use it with my girlfriend, but I don't want her to also have to purchase it. So for this, I'm going to give users the opportunity to add a guest user to their calendar. That way, this guest user, which is maybe a roommate or a significant other, can see the recipes and add recipes to the calendar so that they also know what they're going to make for dinner that week. Something that might not be in the initial launch, but I think might be because I don't think it'll be a super difficult feature to add is also a way to take a, a specific time frame. So maybe it's uh, all the recipes within a week and then export the ingredients that you would need for all those recipes, um, maybe be able to copy and paste them over to a notes app or something like that. So if you're making one big grocery haul, you'll be able to just you know copy paste that and use that as your shopping list. And so this is what I got so far. It does match the mocks pretty well. Uh, so essentially you're able to do things like create a recipe. Uh, you can upload a photo. You can enter your recipe name. And you know if you want to have an op optional number of servings, you can do that. Uh, you can have a cook duration, I don't know, 10 minutes. Uh, I definitely like this adding ingredient feature and adding directions feature. So you're able to say like one, pound of chicken and then the nice little button will add another ingredient you can get rid of ingredients um, and same for directions and I don't have loading animation or redirect for anything like this yet um, but that does create the recipe <clears throat> we're able to view our recipes so I have this one that was preloaded but as you can see that fun recipe that we just created does now exist and we can click into it um, so I just have to add the ingredients and directions section to this and that will be all set as you can see i've got two recipes to explore for the calendar management section i have not implemented this yet but i do have the ability to create calendars so as you can see I can go, this is dinner maybe so that wasn't supposed to happen oh that's because I'm redirecting after I create a calendar and the calendar component doesn't exist yet. Uh, so that was supposed to happen actually. Live demos are sweet. But yeah, that's what I got for all the functionality so far. You know, there's not too much to build yet, but you know, every time you say that, more things kind of creep up. So I'm just gonna keep chugging along and I'm really excited to share more updates with you as the devlogs go along. So thanks for checking out what I have so far. I know it's not a ton and maybe not the most sexy application in the world, but I'm really excited to be building it and I'm really excited to be showing y'all as I build it and all the progress updates that I make. In terms of goals and timelines, like I said, there's not a ton left, but I, I don't work on this full time. I work on it you know, part time after or before work. So ideally, I would like to have you know, a working version of this sometime in the next month or so. But if it gets pushed back, I mean, I don't have product managers or anything like that coming down my neck. You know, it's just me and that's how I like it. Plus, I also wanna spend some more time making these devlogs and making other kind of SaaS videos here on YouTube. So if you're into that kind of content or if you're a software engineer that's also trying to build a SaaS application, definitely subscribe. I wanna just make a nice community out of this and share updates as often as I can. But that'll do it for the video. I hope you're interested in coming along on this ride with me. Thanks for watching to the end and I hope you have a great rest of the day.